Hey guys, Darren here from Celebrity Tributes. Today's video is a tribute video to Scott Hall, better known as Razor Ramon. Scott Hall was born on October 20th, 1958 in Maryland. Hall began his wrestling career in 1984 in the National Wrestling Alliance and the Championship Wrestling from Florida, where he trained with Dan Spivy. They debuted as a tag team as American Starship, Hall under the ring name of Starship Coyote and Spivy as Starship Eagle. They had little success together. By 1985, he joined American Wrestling Association and wrestled as Magnum Scott Hall and later as Big Scott Hall. He formed a tag team with Kurt Hennig, defeating Jimmy Garvin and Steve Regal for the AWA World Tag Team Championships in 1986. He was brought into the World Championship Wrestling in 1989 by Jim Ross and gained his first victory on June 29th when he pinned Rip Morgan. After this, he had his television debut on July 9th, where he lost to the great Muta. After a number of losses, he went on a short hiatus. Then in 1990, he joined the New Japan Pro Wrestling, teaming with Larry Cameron, where they defeated Haze and Kabayashi on March 2nd, 1990. Over the next year, he competed in the World Wrestling Council, defeating Miguel Perez Jr. for the WWC Caribbean Heavyweight Championship. He then returned to the WCW, renaming himself the Diamond Stud. In 1992, he started a feud with Dusty Rhodes, where he interrupted two televised matches Rhodes had with Bobby Eaton. He then rose to prominence in 1992 when signing with the WWF, assuming the name of Razor Ramon. While within the WWF, he won the WWF Intercontinental Championships four times, before defecting to the WCW where he became a founding member of the New World Order faction with Hulk Hogan and Kevin Nash. Here, he became a two-time WCW United States Heavyweight Champion and a one-time WCW World Television Champion plus nine-time WCW World Tag Team Champion. He left the WCW in 2000 and returned to the WWF for a brief stint in 2002, spending the rest of his career in various promotions. He was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame as a singles competitor in 2014 and again as a member of the New World Order in 2020. Outside of wrestling, he had a long history of run-ins with the law, starting in 1983 with an incident outside a nightclub where he was charged with second-degree murder, where he wrestled a gun from a man who was in an altercation with. The man was shot and he died. The charges were dropped due to lack of evidence and the reason of self-defense. He was also arrested various times for assault and disorderly conduct. He had many health and substance abuse issues. He went into rehab in 2010 and later had a defibrillator and pacemaker implanted into his chest. He also was diagnosed with epilepsy after having numerous seizures. He was married to Dana Lee Bergio in 1990 and divorced in 1998 due to his drug abuse. They remarried in 1999 but divorced again in 2001. They had a son and a daughter together and he married his second wife Jessica Hart in 2006, although the marriage only lasted for a year. In March 2022, he was hospitalised after falling and breaking his hip. He underwent hip replacement surgery but suffered a blood clot which resulted in three heart attacks on March 12th. He was placed on life support and later taken off life support on March 14th, surrounded by his family. He was 63 years old. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please like, subscribe and comment down below. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.